Hi there folks, it's uh, Derek from Stonecut Foam Writing Supplies with another video for you. Um, this one is uh, just a quick simple instructional to those of you who may be new to fountain pens um, who are taking the next step onwards to using a converter instead of your cartridge. So I'm going to demonstrate a quick, easy and fingers crossed mess free way of filling the converter. So I'm going to use the uh, Bennu Supreme Azure from uh, one of my previous videos. Obvious steps, disassemble the pen, take the converter out. Uh, next I'm going to bring in the bottle of ink that I'm going to use and this is a beautiful shimmering blue from Diamine, Blue Lightning. And because it's a shimmery ink, you will get a deposit at the bottom of the bottle after it's sat for a little while. So you always need to shake them. And if it's been sitting for quite a while, you need to give it a really, really good shake. And then you'll see swirling throughout the ink, the shimmer is finely dispersed. It's not all sitting in the one place, which is kind of uh, necessary really. Uh, as you'll see I've put a little bit of uh, kitchen towel down. Uh, this is just to um, basically protect your work surface in case of spillage. So sometimes I'm a bit clumsy. I usually do this with my own pens um, at home in the kitchen right next to the sink. So it doesn't matter too much if I spill, but uh, I always put kitchen towel down just in case. <clears throat> so I've given that a good shake, so open it up and the ink in there will all be nicely dispersed with the, the shimmer. Next I'm going to take one of the syringes which is available in our Stonecot pen cleaning and maintenance kit suck up a small amount of ink. Now it looks like a small amount in the syringe but this is actually quite a huge amount for the converter. So now you've got to be very careful with this because this is where most spillage occurs. Slide the needle into the converter and then hopefully you'll be able to see this well enough in the video and just apply very very gentle pressure with your thumb on the plunger of the syringe until the ink fills the converter and then what we're going to do is pop the converter into the nib unit and then give it a little bit of a rotation on the plunger to give the ink a little bit of a squeeze into the feed Make sure that the converter is firmly seated. Then reassemble your pen. Pop the lid on just, just to be on the safe side. Pop that to one side. What I like to do is if I have something around, like for instance, I've got a pack of cotton buds here. If I have something like this, um, I can stand the pen upside down in those and that assists in the um, the ink making its way into the feed. I've still got ink in my syringe so very easy nice and gentle pop that back in there and you'll see maybe I'm not sure if this will come out on the camera or not but even with the gentlest little bit of pressure that I was applying there, even then there were a couple of little sprays, a couple of little dots on the kitchen towel of blue ink. So there we have it. That is a quick and easy way of how to fill a converter the hopefully non-messy way. This is one of our Dingbat's notebooks. This is from the Earth Collection. This is the Lime Green Yasuni 
National Park version. Okay, here we go. Take that out of there a second. As you'll see, the notepad opens flat. Beautiful, beautiful notepad, beautiful quality paper. Anyway, enough about the pads, we hear about the pen. So, let me see, still not come through. So, what I then tend to do is give them a little bit of a shake and just not too violent a shake, just enough to get the ink down all the way into the feed and through the feed to the nib. And if it hasn't worked after a couple more shakes like that, I'll then give the converter a little, another little twist all the time watching the feed to make sure that ink doesn't come splodging out and that I don't twist it too far and that's why I'm not twisting too hard as well because the last thing you want is for ink to come splodging out all over the place from your feed okay here we go Now this is a medium nib, lovely smooth nib actually. And uh, it deals quite well with the shimmer ink. Um, it, uh, it really shows the shimmer beautifully in that particular pen. And there we go. That is a nice little writing sample there for you and hopefully you'll be able to see the shimmer 